All right, a deal was made. Cubs and Ian Happ, three-year extension. He was in his contract year. Three-year extension, $61 million. Dan, I love this because you know, normally it's like, well, once the season starts, I will not discuss. Why can't you discuss your contract when the season starts? You can, you can, always, you can always talk to me, by the way. Like, yeah, you can do it. And he signs this, and we're already two weeks into the season. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he signed it. When you look at the contract for Schwarber, Castellanos, uh, and Benatendi a year ago, he, other than Benatendi, he'd be the younger one coming on the market. Uh, he's got superior offensive numbers overall than Benatendi. Yeah. Uh, and he made some significant adjustments last year, and he was a gold glove left fielder as he moved from center field to left field. You know, I think this is a case where he wanted to be a Cub. Um, he, I'm sure the Cubs wanted uh, Hannah less of an AAV, but gave him more to get a shorter term. He gets to come out again before his age 32. I think it's a win-win contract for both the player. And but can I just add at the bottom, you see the hotel suite on the road? As a GM, did you ever throw say, how about the hotel suite and that closed the deal? No, it never closed the deal, but, but they all asked for it, let me tell you. <laughs> you and I would always say if that kind of money, we'll be more than happy to let you pay the difference between the rack rate and the sweet rate. I was going to yeah. say, did you ever say no? They said I would what? say you could pay the difference between the rack rate and the sweet rate. Okay, so you brought up that it's an interesting move for him. Again, I don't want to say it's a bad deal because if a guy Guaranteed wants to money. stay, right? Yeah. If a guy wants to stay and the team wants to have him, that's beautiful. I love that for him, for the Cubs, for the fans. But you pointed out why it's sort of an interesting move from his perspective, given the market for corner outfielders. I think it's a little bit of an interesting, let's put it that way, move from the Cubs' perspective because sort of where are they in? Intention right, right now. They have a decent number of guys locked up, not super long term. You talk about that. It's a higher AAV and not a super long deal, but locked up for a couple of years. This is payroll commitments, not including sort of ARB eligible players in 2026. And they're fifth behind teams that have locked up good players and know they're going to be in contention in yeah. those years. And I'm kind of like, where are the Cubs doing with those players that they know they want to have for 2026? Good point. I didn't realize yeah, that. I that think much that's committed. a great yeah. point because when you look at the construction of the roster, as we sit here today, I think they've got really solid contributors, chance all-stars on a given year. But I don't know if I really see the true aircraft carrier, the guy that – you look at each year that championship teams have, and they have probably four of them. Mm -hmm. And I, I go around that field, and I see really good players, but I'm not sure I, I know who that aircraft carrier is. Right, they have a bunch of cruisers around there to good use the Navy parlance. Right. They right. got some, they <laughs> got some the destroyers, but no aircraft. Right. There you go, thank you. That was what people said when they did the Dansby Swanson deal. It was kind of, you know, that's a good move if you feel confident in that you have enough in your lineup, mm. that you have those stars, that you just need, you know, well, we need a little more defense up the middle. Yeah, but, That's you know, a good move. But I, otherwise, right, it's like, I, is that your big star? But maybe they feel like in Hap's case, Suzuki's case, Dansby case, Horner's case, because you could make a compelling argument that there's more ceiling in each of those guys yeah. and that there's still another bump in their game that can take them to an elite level. Also, uh, collecting quality. Uh, he was a four-win player, Hap, last year. Like, he was. That He's quality. a good player. And we kind of, we kind of like all their, like, uh, destroyer-level players, right? They're all we kind, of, kind of good. Yeah. You can tell he played Battleship as a kid.